A lot of people heading back to reality. They had yesterday <laughs> off for the holiday, and yeah. what good timing following that Chiefs game. Yeah, yeah, a perfect day to have off. Some. The yeah. issue is that not much has changed weather-wise. We're still in the deep freeze <laughs> as they head back to school. I kept looking at my car thermometer on the way into the studio this morning, Joe, thinking, yeah. is that right? And you wanted to turn right back around, right? That's how I felt. I was like, oh. Yeah, and if your car's been outside overnight, it is going to need a good warm-up. We are starting off in the single digits right now. The good news, although we do have a little bit of cloud cover, the latest look of your Storm Track 5 Alive Power Doppler. We are quiet here in Kansas City. After seeing that burst of snow yesterday, we're quiet across all of our viewing area. I do not expect that we're going to have to worry about any kind of snow or winter weather today. Now that will change tomorrow. We have posted a Storm Track 5 weather alert ahead of this next system on the way for tomorrow. Our next winter storm will move into our area, and I do expect that by this time tomorrow morning, snow will be working its way into our area. So let me show you the very latest updates that are coming in this morning with your storm track five forecast track again here's tonight for your evening plans clouds yes and then here comes this next winter storm and i do think by the time we hit sunrise tomorrow morning and unfortunately this may be moving in right into our morning rush hour impacting that for your wednesday morning we could start off as kind of a winter mix of rain freezing rain sleet and snow but i think generally most of tomorrow we're going to sock be socked in with mostly snowfall like to moderate bands of snow expected widespread across our area. It doesn't matter whether you live in Maryville, Sedalia, out to the west near Lawrence. The bulk of tomorrow off and on, we're likely going to be seeing these snow showers across our area. This is a look Wednesday evening, 7 p.m., and I anticipate it's going to be slow, kind of a nuisance and more irritating than anything in terms of travel for both Wednesday, Thursday, and maybe Friday as well. Now here's the very latest snow totals that we're expecting. Now this is just for Wednesday, an inch or two across our area, but we may double these numbers by the end of the work week. The same storm system is just going to be very slow moving. And as long as it's with us, we're going to continue to have those issues. I think in terms of travel off and on potentially all the way into Friday morning. And your storm track five security bank seven, a forecast the good news, Joe heading into the weekend. We will see some improvements, but man, it's just looks messy uh, in between now and then. Over to you. Yeah, all right. Well, at least we can focus on the weekend. Yes. We'll, uh, we'll take what we can get this time of year. Thanks, Aaron. Four